Today's episode is being recorded on September 20th, 2020 at 4.50 p.m. We're having another afternoon podcast recording. Uh, welcome back. This is episode 15 and well, welcome to the bench. What it do you guys? My name is Max. Welcome back to the bench podcast. Today, I'm joined by my favorite regular don't tell anybody else i said that okay <laughs> what is your name jason what's good you got jason what's coming good? back first time in a while we got camilo what's we, up guys camilo oh. coming back with his mic all the way up in his face <laughs> <laughs> last but not least we got tony, tony Knicks fan you already know tony. already know for all the Knicks fans out there tony the nick fan it must be a sad day for you every morning huh <laughs> saquon really just is. got injured and so did sterling shepherd so it's not going great for nicks for new york fans yeah it's not sorry it's not good, saquon guys. hope you recover quickly i didn't get to see the injury i just saw the Me tweets either. he tore his acl no it's not for sure it's not for this guy's out here stating fake news that's it's what i read sure it says that they're afraid it's an acl but he's going to be evaluated tomorrow idiot all right well hopefully it's a speedy recovery <laughs> yeah, for him hope for the best for that guy all right uh make sure to drop a like make sure to drop subscribe follow us on the bench yep. underscore cast uh it's right over there right. right down it's right right over there yeah yeah the bench underscore cast on twitter and instagram to make sure you guys know when every single one of our episodes come up yes sir. Um, only 30 percent of you guys watching are subscribed so we know that there's room to grow here Please make sure you drop a subscribe. Follow us from day one. Uh, it's episode fifteen, but it's still month three. We haven't been doing this. We haven't been doing this for very long, and I know there's so much room for growth. There's so many plans I have for this podcast, and the thing that keeps us going is that we love it. We love talking about basketball. We love talking to you guys every week. We love talking to each other. We do this anyway, so I'm nice. just putting it on camera and recording it, yeah. seeing if anybody will listen, and hopefully one day someone will. But the first thing I got going for you guys today is a little bit of more callbacks to the Los Angeles Clippers loss. We have Brian Windhurst, super, super big NBA uh, uh, news guy, which breaks a lot of news for us. I'm pretty sure he goes wherever LeBron goes, right? That's Brian Windhurst. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the guy who has to follow LeBron. That's his whole job. Uh, he says, my phone is such a mess right now. I'm getting texts from executives, agents, and I got a text from an owner. The chatter going through... Right now in the NBA, I can't believe some of the things being sent to me, the slander being thrown at some of the Los Angeles Clippers players. Do you think there's any hope of this same exact team running it back? Or do you think this core is going to dismantle? Nah, do you they think definitely try it again next year. Do you think it's, This was year one. This was they're just. But is it just going to be Kawhi and Paul George? Or is it going to be Lou Will? Montrezl Harrell? He won't be there. I think Montrezl gonna, is not going to be there. I think they're going to move Lou on for Trez. For sure they're going to move on from Trez. Lou he's, might be there. Lou's getting old. Yep, yeah, they still want. He's Lou, effective though. Sure. He can yeah. score oh, all yeah. the bench. I saw somewhere someone said, because it was Kawhi, they're comparing the Toronto Raptors to the Clippers. They were saying that Fred Van Fleet is way better than Lou Will. He yeah, he is. He is. He is. Full agreement. Yes. Yeah, he is. Full agreement. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I mean, we all know Fred can get really cold. He's been really hot lately. Same with Lou. Nah, he, Lou can get, yeah, they're a microwave player. I'm not, I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer, but is it a hard yes? Fred Van Fleet is already hard better yes. than Lou. Hard, hard yes. Yeah. Hard Definitely. Yes. I wouldn't say a hard yes, but he, like for me, it's like a slight edge. Like he's, Lou he's might just bit. be a better one-on-one scorer. Yeah. That's there you go. Shit. I see. I, I, yeah. From what I can tell, I think I've seen um, Fred take some pretty big shots already. Yeah. Right? So, and I feel like with Fred, there's obviously more room to grow because I don't think he's over 26, is he? No, he's no, like 25, 24. Yeah, he's like 25. Okay, so yeah, uh, it's pretty crazy to see that they quite did leave that situation because he thought they weren't good enough to run it back, and they both ended up in the same exact place. Yeah. So, uh, are we still picking Paul George over Jimmy Butler? No, Jimmy, nah, Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Buckets is locked. Yeah. Yeah. You think Jimmy on that team instead of Paul George is in the conference finals right now? Oh, yeah, they make shit. it to yeah. the conference finals for sure. I think so. They wouldn't sure? have gone to Game Seven. Jimmy got more heart. Yeah. It wouldn't have gone to Game Seven. Definitely not. Wow. Definitely not. So are we just land. Is Paul George's name forever gone? No, he has uh, to prove himself next season to to do something. I think he definitely has to prove himself next year for sure. Because yeah. two teams threw away their future for him. Mm -hmm. uh, the the OKC managed to get it all back, but Steve Ballmer gave everything he owns for Paul George. Damn, that that gotta suck, man. Yeah, oh, suck for sure. Yeah, no, Dang. for sure. 
I feel they, bad for them. Th- they don't have a first pick until like 2027 yeah. or something. Yeah, like fifth graders ha- yeah. that, that are in high school right now are going to be the people that are going to pick up <laughs> with crazy. the first pick. That is pretty insane. Yeah, they're going to be like their fifth graders right now. All right. Uh, oh, this is something. Here's some more garbage time news stories that I selected out for you guys. <laughs> After last night's garbage time three pointer by J.R. Smith, he surpasses Kobe ninth in career playoff three pointers <laughs> made. Oh, wow. So that just goes to show how deep those Cleveland Cavalier runs were with uh, yeah, he, he with has LeBron. LeBron. Thanks for that. For yeah. always being there. And mm-hmm. it's also a testament to, the, to today's new game. I just want to throw that in there. Yeah, uh, definitely. Throwing up all those trees now. Mm-hmm. For real. Uh, Ty Lawson gets banned from the Chinese basketball association. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Posting stories of him in a Chinese strip club. <laughs> Yo, I was crying when I saw that. That was hilarious, <laughs> was, right? The Chinese government does not play with that. That was hilarious. Yeah, I was... Ty Lawson, man, he lives his life. And he don't care, and I respect that. But Clearly, he just man. But he's, if he's not getting a job in the NBA and he's not getting a job in China, where does he go next? The Australia there, league? Yeah, there has to be another league. Euro this, league. Uh, yeah, the this, Euro league. There's Canada. There's a Canada basketball. Uh, Amari's league. gone to different leagues and still yeah, he's succeeded. in yeah. Israel. He was somewhere. MVP like two years ago. And he's yeah. like 37. Mm-hmm. That's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. The meat of the show. Giannis Antetokounmpo becomes the 12th player to ever win consecutive MVP awards following Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, Larry Bird, who the three of them got three in a row, Kareem, Moses, Magic Johnson, MJ, Timmy D, LeBron, Steve Nash, and Stephen Curry, uh, Michael Jordan, and no, sorry, Kareem and LeBron were the two people to do it twice. So there was a year in between there. Two back to backs, but congratulations to Giannis Antetokounmpo. I had him pick for MVP as well. I think it was pretty uh, obvious he was going to be MVP. He was the most consistent throughout the season. Yeah, he was the most consistent throughout the season. His team had the best win percentage. It uh, it was it was written in the stars. But so LeBron was mad. Yeah. LeBron said that he was mad that he only got 15 of those votes. He thought it should be way closer, right? So the way it works is that. He got 16 first place votes. Uh, 101 people get sent out ballots. And for MVP, they choose places one through five. First place gets 10 points, seven points for second, five for third, three for fourth, one point if they put you at fifth place. Add up your total points, and the person with the most points gets MVP. LeBron only got 16 first place votes out of those 101 ballots. Unbelievable. That's crazy. And he got a third place vote. Wow. One person wow. gave him third place. Wow. Haters. One, the disrespect. I'm sure that same person was the one who put James Harden at second place. Yeah. <laughs> um, so time's running out for LeBron, but honestly, do we value these MVP vo- uh, trophies as much as we used to? Definitely not. No, not really. We for for him now, since he's he's basically like solidified himself as a, like a, as as the best player in the world. More, we're just focusing more on like how many championships he's gonna win before he yeah. retires. Yeah, I feel like we've all known that he deserves MVP every year for a long time, and that's what everyone's right. been saying yeah. for a long time. So, I, yeah. and in the eyes of the his peers and in the eyes of you know his fans, we all know he deserves every MVP reward since I don't know 2010. He did make a good point. He was saying how the voters or some of the voters probably don't even. Or it seems like they don't even watch the game. Mm. They just like, go yeah. more on like what's the best story. It's a it's the a best. popularity contest. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's a narrative. He said, uh, Bill Simmons had Luka Doncic above James Harden on his MVP ballot, so he had Luka over James Harden MVP. But he had Harden on his first NBA All NBA team and Luka on second All Team NBA. You see, that makes no sense. So even people are being inconsistent, and that's big boy Bill Simmons, who you know said, <laughs> "What do you say, Bam? You average five, ten and five and two or something." Yeah. On this year, it was completely wrong. Um, Beal averaged 30.5 uh, points, 4.2 rebounds, and 6.1 assists per game this season. Only two players to put up numbers at Beal's age. LeBron James, Michael Jordan. Beal wasn't an all-star or an all-NBA player this year. Wow. So wow. they completely forgot about him. ESPN's Maria Taylor did not put Anthony Davis on her first, second, or third all-NBA team. Uh, LeBron says, did you see the votes that Devontae Graham got? For most improved, he averaged four points last year compared to 17.5. If that's not improving, what is? Oh. I had a chance to be defensive player of the year and also an MVP in the same season. Uh, but in that year, my, 
Mark, Mark Gasol was awarded Defensive Player of the Year, but he made second team all defense. No sense. So yeah, that doesn't make sense. That makes sense. Everywhere. Um, Giannis, though, uh, to highlight him, he did have a great season. He said, as long as everybody's on the same page and as long as everybody's fighting for the same thing, fighting for the same thing every single day, which is to be a champion, I don't see why I can't be in Milwaukee for the next 15 years. So he keeps talking his shit about staying in Milwaukee. He needs to be careful with that. I mean, he has to say that. He's going to. Yeah, everybody the, says that. For, for the political. Kevin Durant said he was going to stay with OKC his whole career. Yeah. Look at him now. Yeah, yeah, but he's saying it way too much. I think you have to leave the door open somehow. Like, it, for him to be so solidified and say that I'm staying here no matter what. But here's the thing. If he says, I'm going to stay here. If, all right. If he says, like, oh, I'm going to leave, then he's going to have a lot of No, I don't think he yeah. needs to say, I'm, I'm going to leave. I think he needs to leave the door open. Like, look, if everything's okay, yeah, I might stay. But, you know, I don't know what will happen in the future. Like, leaving the door open for it to happen. So you're, so you're saying he should have done what, what Davis did. Though. Sorry? You should, he should have done what Davis did. That's what Davis did. At the yeah, beginning Davis, of the season, they asked him, are sure, you going yeah. to Chicago next but, season? But that season, they were giving him a yeah, lot Davis of got hot caught, water. Davis caught a lot of flack that season. Yeah. I just think he's he's doubling down on it way too much. I, I, I understand what you're saying. It's, it's like a double on sword. Like it's like Yeah, double-edged sword. Yeah. yeah, it's like if he says, oh, I'm going to stay, people are still going to question him and if he says like oh if he leaves the door open people are still gonna question him so did it's you kinda, see the interview of difficult. the one when he was in greece and they were talking to him no nah, i didn't watch it he said something about another team he was like or oh, another team but then he like cut that off and like immediately said that about staying there for the next 15 years really yeah that's so weird i think i think he might be gone if they don't build like a team a good ass team around this season him, it's a wrap yeah i think he might be gone yeah i agree he's with coming you. to the heat guys you need to get someone else watch to the heat, y'all heard it here first. I don't oh, think anybody man. would trade for him if they if they if they blow not not if they blow it up, but if they uh if he if they don't get anywhere next year, like the Milwaukee Bucks, I mean, yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna trade for him. Like if they start having a really yeah, bad I year, think so. I think they're just gonna let him let let him sit because they know he's a free agent next year. So Milwaukee has plenty of time to prove themselves next year. Uh, they're gonna have another full year with Giannis. Uh, I don't know what their cap situation is like. I don't think it's any good. I don't know. I think Bledsoe's leaving. Bledsoe? Derek Bledsoe? They got to trade him, yeah. I think so. Dang. I don't know who's going to take him, though. Like, a lot of the time, like, the, the hardest part about all these players that they have is that none of them showed up for anything. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they're not valuable at all anymore. Like, yeah. even Brooke Lopez, sure, he hit three pointers. He showed up in like two games, but he's what, 30? He's pretty old. Two? Yeah. What about Chris Middleton? You think he showed up? Chris Middleton, uh, yeah, I think they, they keep Chris. I think, they, yeah, they, they try to keep, keep Chris at all costs unless they get two pieces back, right? Unless they can secure an, another third person. Yeah. Like, say they, they know they're getting rid of, of Chris Middleton, but they're going to get back, I don't know, Beal and Derrick Rose. Like, if they can secure a, a, a valuable third piece, yeah, yeah, they would give away Chris, but I don't You know, that's up to them to figure out. Thank God I'm not in that position. Yeah, right? they, so. should, they should uh, pursue uh, Bradley Beal. They really should. Yeah, that'd be That'd a great be third option. Yeah, he could he could score and he could he play could close the game. Third Just, option. Yeah, Bradley Beal. Yeah, yeah, they could keep they could keep Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Bradley Beal. That that'd be a perfect uh, D Wade team. I think Beal would be the second option though. And yeah, Beal would be the second third. option for sure. He'd probably, but he, he'd he'd probably, he'd probably he'd be, better be than the primary like, ball handler. Middleton? You think he's better than Chris Middleton? For I think sure. he's better than he might be better than I Paul George. Yeah. Yeah. I think Bradley Beal is better than Chris Middleton. I Dang. think, yeah, I think Bradley Beal is definitely better than Chris Middleton. Mm-hmm. That's your opinion. I got nothing to say. You don't think so? Chris Middleton is just more efficient. Yeah, definitely way more efficient. Matter of fact, maybe because like Bradley Beal, he haven't been in the playoffs for a while. So yeah, I, guess. I mean, that's because of the Wizards and yeah. John Wall being injured. Yeah. So I can't really like say any type of judgment, but I don't know. That's your opinion, though. But. All right, so I pulled up some of the MVP voting right here. Uh, let's see. We've got pretty much all the way down. We've got Giannis and uh, LeBron. Uh, these are all public, by the way. They came out with the public because I guess everybody was so mad about finding out who these people mm-hmm. actually voted for. So we got Jeff McDonald was the one who put... No, my bad. Where is he? I just Sorry, saw James Jeff. Harden. Not you. Damn, I missed it. <laughs> You're looking for the one that voted for James Harden. James Harden. Yeah. You know, LeBron James, James Harden, it's kind of hard. Yeah. I can't find him. Wait, I think he is right there. Go back. Oh, these yeah. are like news affiliates? 
Yeah, these are the people who got votes. Oh, okay. Defensive Player of the Year. We got Chris Haynes voted Ben Simmons second. Uh, pretty much a lot of people voting Rudy Gobert. Which I'm not going to get mad at someone voting Rudy Gobert for Defensive Player of the Year. But, you know, it was definitely a race between Giannis and Anthony Davis. Pretty Why sure didn't they let the press choose MVP voting? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be smarter to choose, like, coaches and... And executives, right? Yeah. Coaches yeah. might be better. I bet. I mean, it's still hard to not choose a person on your own team, you know? Yeah. Shout yeah, out to cool. Royce Young for giving Bam out of bio the first say, place yeah. defensive player of the year vote. Uh, I think I think the reason why they let like news affiliates is because they're not biased. No, that too, but because they're actually like around the game twenty four seven. Like, oh, here's Greg Logan. There. Greg Logan, they need to take this guy. This was the guy from the Nets that I told you guys about a while ago. What did Andre Drummond in first place? Oh, Hassan God. Whiteside second, and then Giannis third place oh for all God. defense. What? Yeah, it was pretty insane. Yo, get that guy out of there. Hey, this doing? guy's ballot okay. definitely needs to be taken away. I'll take his job. Uh, <laughs> That's even worse. Oh, this guy, Anthony Dimel, also gave Bam the first place vote, but his third place vote was Brooke Lopez. Oh, my God. I guess only because he has he was leader in blocks this year. So what? Yeah, so what? I think Ben Simmons got a first place vote from someone. No, pretty think cool. you're right. for a defensive player of the year. <laughs> the he was doing good before he got injured. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Let me see. There was one. No, nah, I didn't take a picture of it. There was like three people. No, there was like one dude who voted Christian Wood from the Detroit, Detroit Pistons. For yeah, what? from the Detroit Pistons. Uh, for sixth man of the year, oh, wow! For second wow. place, oh, wow! I'm just like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure that guy was a Pistons reporter. <laughs> so. Has to be. Yeah, yeah. they definitely need to work, rework this. I think after all this giant spotlight on it, they're going to rework it. They, they have to because, you know, everyone's pointing it out. Like, and I'm pretty sure that Maria girl, like, she, uh, she even made a joke about it. Like, obviously, votes matter this year because she's the one who voted Anthony Davis on none of her teams. Dang. She got a personal vendetta against him? <laughs> nah, I guess she literally just completely forgot about him. He like, rejected her. Uh. <laughs> Do you guys agree on LeBron speaking out on it? Yeah, of, of course. course. He's upset. He's, yeah. He feels like he's the most dominant player in the NBA this year. So, of course, he, he's going to voice his opinion. It's really scary because, like, you know, he's only aging. So, who knows yeah. how yeah. if he's going to be this good next year. No. Or if even the narrative is going to be for him to win MVP next year. Because this year's narrative was that he was coming back from a season where he didn't make the playoffs. And even then, they didn't start off too hot, I don't think. They went on a little run and they got back up and on their first place in the West, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... That's what the narrative was, and it was there. But Giannis, I guess, was so dominant all year, and his yeah. team was so good. I mean, the only win they got was when Giannis wasn't on the floor in the playoffs against the Heat. Well, the Bucks they ain't show up, so that season MVP it doesn't really matter. Yeah, especially when they give the awards out so late now. Yeah, it was always cool to see that MVP fighting against the runner-up, trying to get to the championship. Those mm -hmm. were always the best stories. Mm -hmm. But now. With the the news award show, that was bull. No one liked yeah, that. No, right. yeah. They were just trying to make some money off of it. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. I don't know. They got to work something. This whole it's not it doesn't feel as valuable anymore. Of course, these these awards matter for players because there's incentives for them. Mm -hmm. um, all NBA teams, some people can get a super max, right? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there's incentives built into contracts for rookies that are like, oh, if you make a defensive team or an All NBA team, I'll pay you this much more, yeah. a million dollars more, a hundred thousand dollars more. Like there's there's a lot of incentives revolving around these uh, awards, and while I guess they do pick all these different media report outlets because they're trying to get a, a pretty even pool for the best result, like these awards matter to a lot of players, and for even John Moran, he, he was uh, had the opportunity to be one of the first unanimous rookie of the years, but that one dude, he gave a reason on Twitter. I didn't even read it because. The Joe Cowley? Yeah, Joe What'd Joe Crowley put Zion as first place for his vote for Rookie of the Year. I don't know what he said. I didn't read it because I don't think any yeah, of it makes sense. Yeah, I would just, I would just be angry no he matter what he said. He didn't play enough games this season <laughs> yeah, to like, be considered. But he was breaking records, though, but he didn't play. But I, but I agree with you guys. Like He didn't play enough games, though. So. Yeah, he didn't play nearly. He played like yeah. less than 20 games. Like, yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And to round off our little news section here, we got The Last Dance wins the Emmy for Outstanding Documentary and Nonfiction Series. I think a while back I said that I got nominated for it, but good yeah. on The Last Dance. That's what's that, up. I didn't know that. That, uh, that show was awesome. That yeah, show was that so good. Really good. And yeah. during quarantine too, it, was, yeah. it felt like it was finally like everybody was doing the same thing. It felt like I was part of like yeah. a group 
for the first time in a long time. Yeah, my parents, quarantine. me, my parents, my whole family was watching it. Like, G? Yeah, yeah like it's like sure. if it was like a big game coming on. That's yeah, that's what it that's felt cool. like. It felt like basketball was back for a little bit. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a really good show. All right, but let's go to move on. Let's do a game. Let's, let's do, do the do game. game first. Yeah, let's do a game first. So I'm gonna bust out guess who because this is the easiest thing because <laughs> I uh, all I have to do is pick a player on a team and you it's guys Joe get to Harris. ask me questions. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll have to pick I a different one. Can't wait for LeBron's documentary. Oof. Oh, Twenty years funny. down the line. Oof. Oof. Might be shorter than that. It's gonna be crazy. It's thirty for thirty. It'll be the first sixty for sixty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. What team should I pick? Let me watch your eyes. All right. Oh. I got one. Go ahead. Hit me with the first question, Jason. Okay. Um, is this player in the Eastern Conference? He is in the Eastern Conference. Is this player a guard? Is he a guard? He is a guard. Okay. Does his team have red in it? <laughs> his team logo does not have red in it. Damn it. Uh, There's is, less red. Is he in the central division? He is not in the central division. Oh, okay. Let me know, Camilla. What's your question? Is he in the Atlantic division? <laughs> he is in the Atlantic division. Okay. Hmm. This is team in New York, in New York, not the New York Knicks, New York. So Brooklyn is this counts. team in the, yeah, Brooklyn, no, it's not in New York. Oh, okay. Uh, is this team <laughs> in, is it, I already oh. know the team. Ba, ba, now you have to go. Ba, 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 oh, ba, I have to go, oh, okay. Ba, ba, uh, is this team ba, in ba, ba, da, Boston? Da, da. Yes, Jason. It has team to be. is the Boston Celtics. Yes, Come on, okay. bro. We said no red and, right. and no All New right. York. All right. <laughs> Can I name the player? Or try to name a player. If you do, you, you're if you, out. you you only get one guess. Is a guard in the Boston Celtics? Hold on, I need to ask more questions. I mean, by the time it gets back around to you, you might already got it. Yeah. You want to guess? You might have to guess now. Ask a question or guess. Come on. Take the game winner, uh, Soto. Take the game winner. Take it. Go, Soto. What's your question? <laughs> Shoot your shot. Wanamaker. Are you asking me if it's Brad Wanamaker? Mm -hmm. He is. It is not Brad Wanamaker. Oh, not wow. Brad Wanamaker. <laughs> is he a shooting guard? He is a shooting guard. Okay. All right. Is he over 6'6"? Six, six? No, he is not over 6'6". Six, six. Okay. Back to you. Oh, no, you're out. Yeah, I'm out. Tony, who is it? He's not over 6'6". Six, six. He's not over 6'6". Six, six. He's a shooting guard. I just guess. <laughs> is it Jalen Brown? It is not Jalen Brown. Wow. You're so dumb. Wow. He's not over 6'6". Six, six. Exactly. Jalen Brown's not over 6'6". Six, six. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. You know, like six, Jalen six, Brown six, six, five. Jalen Brown is 6'7". It says on... What? The, the quick little thing on Google says 6'7". Oh, shit. He's a shooting guard. He's a shooting guard. Come on, guys. <laughs> no. You, uh, you only get you, you, Come on. You get one guess. Go. Carson Edwards. Not Carson ah. Edwards. It was Marcus Smart. Yeah, yeah right, bro. I'm so mad. How did I not get that? Marcus Smart plays point guard and shooting guard. I so I thought that's what you guys would throw you off. But, like, he's a guard. You guys should just want to guard. Like, this is a positionless basketball game now, guys. I know. Yeah. That makes it even harder. But no Carson point. Edwards is a shooting guard. He's a primary shooting guard. Nah. Yeah. I think Smart's a primary well, wasn't him. Guard, so. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's okay. All right. Hit me with your first question, Soto. Come on, it's pretty simple. First question. Yep. What color, uh, <laughs> is the team logo blue? Is the team logo blue? No. No. Okay. Is it in the Northwest Division? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are we so sure it's in the West already? <laughs> is this go. team in the Eastern Conference? No, this team is not in the Eastern it. Conference. Come on, man. <laughs> 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 Camilla. Thank you. Is it in the Pacific Division? Is this team in the Pacific Division? Uh, no, it is not in the Pacific Division. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Mm, is he under 6'7"? He is not under 6'7". Okay. Okay. Don't look at the camera. I'm not. I was looking. 
Let me know, Jay. Okay. Does this player play for the Dallas Mavericks? He does not play for the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, Lord. We're, Tony already asked if he was in the Southwest Division. No, I asked Northwest. He said Northwest. And you said no. Yeah, you said no to Northwest. So it has to be Southwest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's in the Northwest. <laughs> Oh, wow. My bad, my bad, my, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so bad. Because of that, we should all get one point. Yo, no <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That was, that was my first question. question. I literally would have known All right, the then team. let's just go from there. Oh, my. So okay. Go ahead, Jason. Yeah. No, no, he gets to go because you kind of messed him up. No, because so he, look, I'm no, telling no, him his questions no, right no, now. All right, yeah, whatever. Get, you guys have gotten no new information anyway. We have, though. I know what team is. he on is. the Trailblazers? Well, duh, well, I mean, you asked if it's blue. Okay. Uh, well, you gave you just gave Jason a pre question. Yeah. Wait, wait. This it's player? your turn. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is he a guard? He's not a guard. Not a guard. Okay. He's over six. Seven. He's over six seven. Oh, okay. Or six seven and over. Yeah. Does he go again? He, no. Yeah, yeah, he goes. Is he okay, a center? Go. He is a center. I think I know it. You gonna pick a center? But I mean, by the I'm time he gets center. back around to you, yeah, man. No, 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 I'm going to pick a center. Yeah, he, You're going to pick a center? I, Which center are you going to pick? And the reason why I asked Northwest is because every other team is blue. They're the only red one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go Nurk. Nurk. It's Nurk. Yeah. Is it Nurk? This player was drafted 16th overall by the Chicago Bulls in 2014. Do you know who that is? No. 2014. It's Yusuf Come Nurkic. Hey. <laughs> The Bosnian beast. It was either him or Whiteside. I was yeah. about to say Whiteside too. Or Zach Collins. Or Zach, he's he's you would have got it wrong, forward. bro. He's not a center. Isn't he like a power forward? He's kind of a power. He plays center though. Everyone plays center nowadays. All right, go ahead, Tony. What's your question? <laughs> West. And he does play for the Western Conference. Yes. <laughs> oh, um, is he in the Pacific Division? He is not in the Pacific Division. Oof. Is he in the Southwest? Division. He is not in the Southwest Division. Okay. We're back to the Northwest position. Uh, division. Does his team have red in it? <laughs> Does his team have red in it? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, is this wow. is this player over six five? He is over six five. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I, I think I know the player. What? What? This guy's a B. <laughs> Yo. I think I know. Is this it. player a small forward? He is not a small forward. I think I know it. Go. Bro, there's three <laughs> teams with the color it. red in it. I know, right? G in the Northwest? Yes. Yeah. It's just the Trailblazers. Are you no, done? Huh? The oh. Nuggets. The bad. Nuggets, Trailblazers, oh, yeah. and so I would say OKC, yes. It's orange. They don't really I would wear, still say yes. They don't wear red. Where's their red here? Oh, my God. I would still say yes. Oh, my God. All right. All right go, Tony. Okay. Does that mean he's on OKC? I don't know. It's you to figure it out. Is he on OKC? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he is on the Denver Nuggets. I don't know. Could be on the Trailblazers. Are you asking? Uh, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm about to make a guess. It's Gary Harris. <laughs> no, no, he's oh! bigger than six. <laughs> Gary Harris is six five, six. What'd you say? Six seven? I don't even remember, five, but it was it was definitely no, it's not Gary Harris. Oh. Is it Will Barton? It's not Will Barton. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Guessing. Just throwing each other. To, <laughs> so now you're, for, now right? you're forced to guess. No. I have to guess? Yeah, you're, you're oh, forcing to guess. What's wrong with you guys? It could still be the Blazers or the Nuggets. <laughs> yeah, it could still be the Blazers or the Nuggets. And it could be any player over 6'6", six, like six, six, I think it was. Jeremy Grant. <laughs> not Jeremy Grant. <laughs> it's Bull Bull. God, you guys wow. are trash. Whoa. Wow. What is wrong with you God guys? God damn. Whoa. Wow. Forget you, Max. You guys are garbage, bro. Stinky. <laughs> Yucky. Well, I'm the only one that has a point. So. I want to let that happen. We can't let that happen. I'm going to win anyway. Uh, man. Let's, play. <laughs> let's, do let's do. Okay. Uh, all right. I got it. So, who has the most points? Tony has the, Tony's Tony has with the point, point, right? You only let have you one. go first. Me? Yeah. This one's worth three points. Oof. Oh, yeah. Because why not? I'm going to make it hard. Is he on the Heat? It's do or die. Not on the Heat. That's <laughs> so funny. I was about to choose a Heat player, but no. <laughs> not play. Uh, Making it too heat. easy for us, Max. Jason? Oh. Um... <laughs> Tony really went for the snipe. <laughs> <laughs> Does this player plays for the Charlotte Hornets? Oh, <laughs> we going for the snipe, What the too? hell, guys? No, he doesn't play for the Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> Does this we'll player play in the day. Eastern Conference? He does play in the Eastern Conference. Oh, man. 
He plays for the Bucks, no? No, he does not play for the Bucks. <laughs> uh, is he in the Central Division? He's not in the Central Division. I'm throwing out a lot of questions out here. Is he in the Southeast Division? He is in the Southeast Division. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. He plays for the Hawks. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't play for the Hawks. Um. Just guess the player. I'm not. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jesus. You like the devil. You like the devil on the shoulder. That's what you are. Jeez. Um. Guess it. No. Does this player play for Washington? Does not play for the Wizards. Turn it. Think so. Camillo. Think. Come on. Is this team in Florida? This guy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you an idiot. Oh, Why are you calling him an idiot? Because we already <laughs> his first question was: Does he listen, play for the Miami know. Heat? Yeah, there's another team in Florida. Obviously. I know, but he already Orlando. asked. He Bro, already we asked. already asked Hornets, Hawks, and Wizards, and Heat. Yeah, Why did we asked Hawks. Oh, I remember you did ask. The first question out of Tony's <laughs> yeah. mouth was: Does so he play the for the Heat? It's the Magic Jason. Oh, okay, right. okay. Okay, he does play in Florida. Yes, Camilo. <laughs> all right, all right. Is he? Is he? Is he a big? Is he a forward? He is a forward. I think I know it. I think I'm not, you know I'm it not. already. He's a forward. He's, He's a, a forward. forward of the magic, yes. Uh, Stop. Ask me one more question, please, Jason. You do this every time. Come on, Jason. <laughs> if anyone wins, I want it to be you. And he always he always guesses the eleventh man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna guess, but I have a guess in my head. Me too. So I do. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not for sure. All right. Is he a small forward slash power forward? Yes, he okay. is a small oh, forward. Pass, I know, power I know, forward. I know, you know, know it. Yeah, I know it. Damn. Go ahead. I can guess. Or no, 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 no. Darn it. <laughs> is it Jonathan Isaac? It's Jonathan Isaac. Oh, Damn it! I knew it. Why? Why? I knew it. I should have guessed. <laughs> you should have guessed. I was gonna guess too. <laughs> I think we all knew that. We all know Max loves Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan Isaac. Like, I, I, was, I went Aaron Gordon first, and I'm like, nah, I'll switch it to Jonathan Isaac. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, his question <clears throat> ruled out Aaron Gordon because he doesn't yeah. really play the small. No, no. I was like, Isaac too. He plays the three. I was gonna ask you if he's injured. Yeah, he's but I would have given it away. It ruled out Gordon, but I would have oh. still said. I would have nah, said two. Jonathan similar. Isaac was the first person I was gonna say. I would have still said. <laughs> I should have said it, yo. <laughs> the reason I switched to Jonathan Isaac is because. Uh, Aaron Gordon and Jonathan Isaac, I feel like are very similar builds. So all your questions would have been stupid similar. Yeah, but nah, Jonathan Isaac's two inches taller than him, three inches taller than him. Actually. Really? Yeah, he's six eleven. What? No, check it out. Six eleven, Jonathan yeah. Isaac. No, he's pretty tall. Like six eight. No, or six nine. Maybe. He's six eleven. Like Told you. Wow. No, six eleven. Says wow. six eleven. Told you. He's Damn. 6'11. Dude, it's tall. He's like Giannis. He does not look that tall. Nah, he's six eleven. Darn it, I should have said it. I was so pissed. I, I just thought, his, I thought, his, I thought his wingspan was that big. Yeah. I don't know if he was if that the Magic big. had Jonathan Isaac while they were playing the Bucks, that would have been... Jonathan they would have yeah. still lost in five. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Yo, you guys are so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Isaac would have beat the Bucks. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> He would have played amazing defense on him. Yeah. It would have helped. Sure, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and talk about the three games that passed by since our last podcast. We had Miami Heat versus Boston Celtics game two. A duel. Game two. A do. What type of action is that? I don't know. You figure it out. No, oh, man. <laughs> Duncan Robinson put up 12 three pointers and six of them went in. Nice. It did not feel that way while he was on the court. He played good, though. He played all right. He did it. He did what he was supposed to do out there. Yeah. We got uh three for ten from Jay Crowder from three. Uh still put up twelve points. Got fourteen points, four steals, three assists, four rebounds out of Jimmy Butler. Uh twenty five points. Only two turnovers, five assists, three rebounds from Goran Dragic. Uh Tyler Hera out there with eleven points, three turnovers, yikes. Uh, nine rebounds and five assists. One thing I really like about Tyler Harrow is that you know how rookies usually don't get past the ball, so they tell him like get the boards. He goes out there and gets the boards. Yeah, and he always rewards. Rebounder. He always rewards himself with the next play. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's aggressive. He'll get Very the good. he'll get the board and bring back the ball. Yeah, literally. like every single time. It's so funny, but it's like, hey man, you grab the board. You you deserve you, it. You deserve <laughs> the shot. Yeah. Do your thing. Uh, let's see. Derek Jones Jr. is out there playing some really good minutes for us. Literally, just who knew Derek Jones Jr. with the Blossoms is just being a defensive minded player? Uh, I'm not really surprised. It's pretty much what the, the only thing we use him for. But I mean, from being such a flyer, such a flashy player, 
to becoming just only out there for defensive minutes is pretty weird. Mm. But uh, no, he plays his role perfectly whenever he gets yeah. called out. He's athletic, so I'm not really surprised. Super athletic. If you had muscle on him, yeah, yeah. he'd be really good defender. Then he won't. He probably won't jump as high. That's true. That's fine. But that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> You He'll still get up there. You know what's better than a dunk champion trophy? An MVP <laughs> NBA trophy? trophy or a NBA champion player trophy? Yeah. Yeah. Defensive player of the year? Yeah, defensive player of the year All trophy. All defensive team. <laughs> All those trophies matter a lot more. Do you think Glenn Robinson III has his, his, uh, <laughs> his, his, dunk tr- his dunk contest trophy like in the middle of his room like is his most coveted possession? Probably, yeah. Yeah, maybe. You never know. <laughs> he probably yeah, does. Maybe. He does, probably. I <laughs> maybe him, yeah. I would too. I would too. I'll be honest. Uh, Kendrick Nunn did absolutely nothing. He hasn't done anything for past real games. disappointing. Oh man! Uh, Andre Godala in the last in this game and the next game, he didn't play any second half minutes, which was kind of weird. Oh, wow. yeah. Maybe they're saving him. Let's see, they who are. am I missing? Oh, Bam out of bio. How can I forget our big guy down low? Twenty-one points, ten rebounds, four assists, four really nice assists. I'm, I do say so myself. Sixty-two percent from the field. Uh, that he put together a very mediocre game, if I have to say so myself. This was a pretty ugly game for the Heat, and we definitely didn't deserve this win. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Brown had his head down the whole game. Stoke managed to get 21.6 rebounds, 2 assists, shooting 57 from the field. Jason Tatum matched him with 21 points. He had 5 turnovers, though, 4 assists and 5 rebounds. Daniel Thais was out there getting 6 minutes, but I'm pretty sure he got... Did he foul out? No, he didn't at this game. Uh, then we got... Marcus Smart, 14 points, shooting two for six from three. Uh, it felt like he made all of them, though. Hmm. It's pretty weird. Four assists, four rebounds. Kemba Walker also got his own 23 points, uh, seven rebounds, five assists. Not bad, not bad. Tatum's no, sorry, seven rebounds and three assists. Uh, and then Brad Wanabaker out there getting... Oh, he got no steals. Man, he, he has was, seven points. Yeah, he has seven points. He always plays really good minutes for them. Uh, like I said earlier, Miami did not deserve this win. We definitely s- stole it uh, from a couple of big shots from Drogic, from Harrow. Uh, but I guess it's just Miami. We don't have a lot of quit in us, so we're going to give you until the last minute. As we showed in game three, where unfortunately we took our first loss in the series. Uh, between me and my brother-in-law, I guess that it was going to go 2-2-2. Two, 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 with the heat coming out in six. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be real sad if they do go up again, which they don't play again until Wednesday, right? No, what? I think they play tomorrow. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure in the post-game interview, Rachel Nichols said, oh, you guys don't play against till Wednesday. How do you feel about that? Why is that? I don't know. I think sure. it might be because it might be Monday night football, but that's what I heard. I don't know. I hope that's not the case. But uh, if they do go up 2-2, two, two, it's going to be really scary. <laughs> It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be really scary. What did you guys see during this game? Um, I was kind of disappointed on um on, mm-hmm. in Boston game four on Wednesday. I was disappointed in Boston because they were up by I think around like twenty points and they lost the lead, especially in the in the last like minutes of the fourth quarter. It went from like twenty yeah. points to like nine points. They've been doing that a lot. And yeah, they needed. Nah, it's just the Heat. Are, the Heat are a bunch of dogs. No, yeah, I agree with you on that one, but, <laughs> but it's also the shot. Celtics' fault. Yeah, nah. the Celtics' fault. What do you mean nah? It's the Heat playing amazing defense. Stop being biased, bro. Causing those turnovers. Yeah, yeah. And bad the, shots. No, I, great defense. No, I agree yeah, with you. I agree with you. Celtics have to put that away. You yeah. have Tayson Tatum only getting twenty one points. Yeah. Yeah, like if you're up by twenty, to you gotta, away. you gotta, yeah. put especially them away. in the fourth quarter, under five minutes. Come on, there's like yeah. some get stat. Get the ball and give me a bucket. There's yeah. like some it's stat. I forget. It was like on the after show on the analysis with that dude that wears glasses and has a bald head. I forget his name. Uh, he showed that out of the one hundred. Oh, you talking about Kenny Smith? No, 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 not the black, <laughs> the white one. <laughs> that he gets oh, Joe. It's like SVP on, or something Jason. like that. Come on. Whatever, out of the yeah. 144 regular <laughs> minutes, not including the overtime minutes, the Boston Celtics have led in like 112 of those minutes, like That's 120 crazy. of those minutes, wow. which just shows like the bo- this, these games are for the Boston Celtics to lose. Yeah, they just keep folding. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they need to pick that together. They could have pulled out any one of these wins. And let me tell you, game three was awesome to see them. As an NBA fan, it was awesome to see them all pick their heads right back up mm-hmm. after that locker room scuffle. Uh, we heard after game two, that uh, Marcus Smart is screaming at someone in the Celtics locker room or several people. The yelling continues as Smart exits the locker room, swearing. Uh, there were large clanks, like items were being thrown around the locker's room. That came from Malika, Malika Andrews. Uh, we have from Sh- from Shams Sharana, Sharania, uh, Boston Marcus 
Smart and Jalen Brown had a heated confrontation after game two loss, needed to be separated. Uh, Brad Stevens had a late night Thursday meeting with Celtics late leaders, Kemba Walker, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, and Marcus Smart to work through emotions of post game two locker room. A lot of yelling in the locker room, but nothing es- escalated to physical confrontation that came out from Woj. I'm sure that helped them. And no, that definitely had to help. In yeah, the post game after the game two loss, where Marcus Smart did decline to talk to any media and went straight to his room. Uh, Jason Tatum said, that's team sports. We're not supposed to be happy after we're down 0-2. Nothing out the ordinary. Talking about the game, it's cool. I'm pretty sure Jalen Brown was sitting there, and he said something along the line. I didn't write it down. He said something along the lines of, uh, hey, I love Marcus Smart. That's the passion he plays with on the field, too. Oh, yeah. Um, I love that that's what he brings to the team. And it's just, we're just arguing amongst family. Nothing... Out of the ordinary. That's good. Um, yeah. So when this news first came out, as a Heat fan, I was super excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're getting under their skin. And then later <laughs> on, when it started to boil, I'm just like, damn, that's probably the best thing that could have happened to them. That, that lit a fire under them, bro. Now they're yeah. mad. I don't even yeah, know they're so, yeah. I feel like the made bickering, the finger pointing, the calling everyone out, I feel like that does bring a lot of energy. Yeah, you wow. need that on a team. Yeah, yeah, I feel like a winning team definitely needs that. That yeah. per- Like two call people each other out. That's, that's, that's why the Heat are so good. Yeah, that's, uh, they heat, hold each other accountable, but that's unless it doesn't get into obviously yeah fighting. physical personal stuff. But yeah, like Jalen Brown said, I think it was just a, a fight amongst family, you know. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure Jalen Brown. No, sorry, Jason Tatum said something like, "Hey, man, what happened in the locker room happened in the locker room. That doesn't concern any of y'all." Which awesome for that too. I think this is exactly what the Clippers needed, you know. Like if the Clippers had this argument, I feel like they might have still been in the race too. But yeah. Kawhi's because, too passive. Yeah, Kawhi's yeah. passive. Kawhi's a robot. <laughs> Paul George has nothing, nothing to play. Paul George is a robot too. Nothing about his play on the field has enough like energy to back up his words, and like nobody else there believes in anybody else is better than them. And I feel yeah. like here, where there's a lot of respect on the Celtics, they're allowed to talk like that and scream at each other, and you know. Yeah. Uh, I actually saw that those the loud clanks, like someone throwing something, was they let Paul George back in, and he was trying to take some shots. Oh my god. <laughs> So do you got jokes. I saw it, bro. So corny. <laughs> no. I saw it on Twitter. It was hilarious. So loud clink. It was hilarious. Paul George trying to shoot again. I am dead. Yo, the more I see that clip of Paul George's shot hitting oh off the side God. of the backboard. Yo, something was going on. Like when I, I saw I that shot that live and I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, damn, they're too. in his head. But now the more I think about it, bro, in practice, he could have shot that shot a thousand times. No, that would have probably would have. No, and it would have it would have never hit the side of the backboard. Yeah, I know that, but I'm the, saying the fact that it hit the side of the backboard shows you how out of it he how out the game yeah. he was already, bro. They got to his head. That's crazy. They're just thinking about it, like he mentally yeah. logged out. Yeah, yeah bro, was... to hit the side of the backboard, he just tossed it, bro. He just he had you, just tossed it, because it was a pain. wide open three. That only mm-hmm. happens to me when there's I'm outside and there's like a breeze. <laughs> it happens to you yeah. all the time. Yeah, no, <laughs> who you playing? Bro? Happen indoor, bro. Who are you trying to play? Who are you trying to play? Uh, <laughs> yeah, come on. Right. No, the 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 one meme that kills me. I don't think you guys remember. Remember he had like the gay ray commercial. Yeah, he yeah. The budget. <laughs> oh, like, I saw would, that. Yo, like he would shoot, and like the the uh, meme would switch to like the actual shot of yeah. him yeah. in the back so That should be having me team. crying. And COVID crying. claw. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the COVID claw. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good for the uh, Celtics. Evidently, they came back and won. Another ugly game out of the heat. It felt like yeah. we missed, I think it was, we missed 15 three-pointers in a row. I think a lot of those shots, if they went, if half of those went in, we would have been in the game even closer. We yeah. managed to cut down the lead from 20 to 5, which I'm sure the Celtics were sweating at that point. For real. Yeah, uh, they can't go down. In the three. fourth quarter. For the last two minutes, I felt like it was going to be a comeback story. And I, was I just, thought it was oh going to be a comeback God. story. Pacing back and forth. If we would have won that game, that would have been demoralizing for the Celtics. Yeah. <laughs> but they pulled it out, man. Uh, so a win's a win, no matter how ugly it is. Bam Adebayo played out of his mind. It 10 for 14. I, I think throughout the first quarter, Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo were combined one for eight for a while. Uh, but Bam Adebayo brought it back around. 10 for 14, 71% from the field. Uh yeah, 16 rebounds, 27 points. I have a question. How come Jimmy Butler... I'm sorry to cut you off. You're how good. Come, how come Jimmy Butler didn't play like in the last minutes of the I fourth quarter? I was super curious That's about true. that. So if you guys weren't watching the game, Spolstra actually sat Jimmy Butler in the last couple of plays of the game, uh, which were crucial. Like we said, the last two minutes yeah. was basically just a comeback story the whole time. Mm-hmm. Um, Spolstra says it wasn't injury related. 
he just said they were out there trying to get something quick. So I guess he had a, a lot of good trying like, to get three uh, pointers. Yeah, was, he had. Uh, so I believe the 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 rotation was Drogic, Tyler Hero, Robinson, Jay Crowder, and Bam Adebayo on the floor. I guess he didn't want to sacrifice another three point shooter. Yeah. Uh, because while Jimmy Butler does hit big time shots, uh, his percentage isn't there. So I guess he just. Yeah, he's really, a good. He's a good defender though. He's a good he defender, is. but I think f- between Jake Carter and Bam Adebayo, they held their own. Yeah, uh, they did. So yeah, I think I they f- were just trying to get quick threes. No, I feel, I no, I, I understand shot. what y'all saying. I know I understand where y'all coming from, and I agree with you. But I feel like me personally, if Jimmy if Jimmy Butler was out there, he could have shortened the lead I down. I think so too. I feel. I you. think so too. He didn't look frustrated at all. I saw him talking to UD on the bench about something. I don't know who knows what they're talking about, but you know, it's just the way the cookie crumbled, and mm-hmm. you know, there we had. If Kelly Olynyk hit one of his four attempts, we would have been in the game. I'll be honest. <laughs> he, it felt like he missed in the worst times. But if he would have made any one of those four, oh my god! Didn't he, he miss everything? He missed. He went over four. Yes, he went over oh, six over on the four. night. Oh, six, so, yeah. Damn, damn, Kelly. Gorn, <laughs> bro, they beat Gorn Dragic up out there. They he did? caught. He caught Jason Tatum's elbow, started bleeding. Oh, I then saw he that. caught. Uh, no, he caught Jason Tatum's shoulder, started bleeding. Then he caught mm-hmm. J- <laughs> Jalen Brown's elbow, and then he busted his lip again. Yeah. Both times they were they were called as blocking fouls, but at least a Jalen Brown one got turned over into an offensive foul. Uh, insane that how much I feel like Goran Dragic is like one of the hardest players in the league because he they just can't knock him out of a game. Like I yeah. feel like it's insane how much he gets beat up on the floor. I've seen this man yeah. spit. He's two. definitely been the X factor for the Heat. Yeah, he oh, for the Heat for sure. Yeah, but definitely. I'm just saying in terms of like I've seen this dude spit He's out tough. his teeth before, bro. Yeah. I've seen him get hit one time and his like half his face was like swollen. Yeah, bro. They yeah, uh, like he takes so many him and Jay and Jeremy Lin are the two people who always take yeah. so many calls. They never get calls. They never get calls. It's crazy. Is like Gordon Hayward back? Like that, yeah, he's back. He played last night? Yeah, Gordon Hayward played Hayward. Cra- oh yeah, you were at work, right? Yeah, I was at work. Yeah, Gordon here was really impactful on the game. Um, he got hurt like the first first couple minutes. No, he turned his ankle, but Ooh, he kept he? playing. Yeah, no, I didn't see. Yeah, he turned his ankle, but he kept playing. He I was stayed like, getting hurt, man. Look, He's yeah. made out of paper or something. I was so upset. Was he got like, wow. six points, four assists, and five rebounds, and three steals and a block. That's not bad. That doesn't sound like a crazy stat line, but let me tell you, on the floor, it was w- twice as impactful as on the. Yeah, he does thing. He does because thing. we had to take care of him, bro. He was out there moving. Like, he had a lot of hockey assists, too. Uh, he was a ball handler for them. He did get those four assists, but there were definitely plays made by him that he, where the assist wasn't credited to him. Um, he had a lot of really good... Those four assists, one of them was an easy look from him to Thice. Uh, I think it was his first assist. Uh, he was hugely impactful. He ended up playing, yeah, 30 minutes. Does that worry you at all for the Heat? Yeah. A lot. He's mm-hmm. another person we have to take care of. Before him, it was Brad Wanamaker. Yeah. You know, we can leave off Brad Wanamaker for a couple of plays, but Gordon Hayward, those are eyes on him all the time. He's he's a good. steady shooter. Yeah. It throws he's still, he's still a good player. He just gets hurt. So he gets hurt a lot. But no, he's yeah, a he's a super good player. He's super efficient. Well, he was only two for seven, but I mean, I'm still worried about the dude. He's definitely played in good minutes. I'm glad he's back them. on the floor, though. Uh, yeah. Hopefully he stays healthy. Yeah. Even Ennis Canners, he's still throwing him out there for quick easy points, which Ennis Canner literally goes out there, gets an easy eight <laughs> points in like three minutes. Gets two offensive rebounds. Yeah, and then he gives up four. Yeah. But now they're up four. He's positive four, and then he gets taken out the game. Yeah. It's All literally right, you're the done only for thing the Canner does. It's insane. He's so well offensive, but as a well rounded player, he's nothing. Like Terrible he's a complete defender. zero on defense. Yeah. Too slow. Mm-hmm. But he goes out there and does his job. And like I said, this was Super ugly game by the Miami Heat, and we are still in it. So I'm not too worried. Um, I do have the two, two, two. So I do expect the Celtics to come back on Wednesday. It's crazy. Uh, I think it's because of Monday Night Football. So sucks. you're we saying this uh, rating purposes, like TV yeah, purposes, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just uh, check too. It's they're not playing until Wednesday. Dang. Yeah, so they have a lot of rest. Time. So it's tomorrow Lakers, uh, Monday no one, Tuesday Lakers, Wednesday Heat, which sucks because that's when we record. So we might have to record an early earlier pod. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the Miami Heat Boston Celtics. After that, we have the Lakers. At, wait, wait, you saw the how Hayward is having a kid and he's staying. in the Oh bubble? yeah, my bad. I even wrote it down. Didn't even say yeah. it. he's confirmed staying in the bubble. That's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy. I, I mean, mean, I don't know. If it's cool. It kind of sucks for him. It but sucks he said, for him, but he said um to the reporter during the game that she said it i have it linked down below i always link everything down below by the way if you guys ever want to know what we're talking about i always link all of my sources down below 
down um, in the description yeah in the description of the youtube so if you're not watching on youtube sorry uh gordon hayward confirmed saying he's in the bubble he said he actually uh got some unexpected time to spend with his family because of the injury so as of right now he's going to stay in the bubble but he's still going to be on his phone after every game seeing if his wife is on the way to the emergency room Aww. so i guess as of right now he's staying in the bubble but he might decide later to leave but as of right now he looks like he's going to stay with his team because of all this unexpected time he did get to spend with his family yeah um which is great for uh the celtics celtics yeah. sucks for anyone that's related that, to him. That's related to him and sucks on anyone that's a Heat fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All true. right. Denver Nuggets, Los Angeles Lakers. Let's see how many turnovers. Oh, they only got 16 turnovers, but how many fouls? They got 26 fouls and the Lakers got 28. So I don't even know because on the floor, it looked like the Nuggets were getting fouled for foul after foul after foul after foul. It's pretty crazy, right? It was yeah. kind of even. It was actually in the... Towards the end, you saw it was kind of even. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it ended up evening out. Uh, Jamal and Murray, when asked about how the Nuggets can drop can, sorry, can adapt to the whistles. Just play through it. It's tough. The Lakers want to talk about every call and have full conversations and try to manipulate what happens, but we can't. But you can't worry about it. We know we're the younger team. Um, and like Dwight Howard was out there just annoying anybody in the Nuggets jersey. I saw the video yeah. where he was just in the huddle with the Nuggets. That yeah, was hilarious. And then the, the ref came and was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "What do you mean? I'm just standing here." Yeah, he's uh, acting like he wasn't doing anything wrong. But no. He's clearly in their huddle. So LeBron annoying. did that too. Yeah, he was like in their in their little space. Now, the one that had me dying the most, I think it was um, I think it was Mason Plumley. He dunked. He dunked on Danny Green and Danny Green like flopped and pretend like he got hit. Oh something. yeah, this huge Danny Green flop. Yeah. He even commented on that on Twitter or on Instagram and he was like, I got kicked in the face and that's the story I'm sticking to. <laughs> <laughs> but he knew he knew he flopped. But I mean it's a part of the game now. Yeah. Like, he tried it. He tried yeah, it. He, he didn't get the call though, but he tried it. Yeah, he tried it. I think the uh, Lakers are just like babying them. They, they're they just are. the younger. Yeah, that's but messed they up, better man. respect them though. No experience. Yeah. They better respect them though. Yeah, if you're the Lakers up three one, are you worried? Hell no. Nah. nah, nah. Bro, LeBron James would right not now. even allow that to happen. Like he, yeah. So my brother-in-law, I talk about my brother-in-law a lot, but my brother-in-law, we watch a lot of games together. Mm-hmm. My brother-in-law asked me, who's the best defensive team left? Right? It's obviously not the Nuggets. And in my head, the first team I thought of was the Miami Heat, right? Because obviously we're and a defensive-minded team. To be honest. But the Boston Celtics have such a clicked defense. It's insane. Their defense clicks, even though they're not, they don't have a lot of sides, they don't have a lot of height. They're just so connected on defense. Yeah, it's really crazy. And uh, remember, Thice did win Defensive Player of the Year in the German League. Let's never forget. <laughs> in um, the German League. <laughs> yes. But the Lakers, on the other hand, they have LeBron James, all defensive player. Anthony Davis, all defensive player. Defensive Player of the Year. Danny Green, Danny Green, <laughs> all defensive player. Dwight Howard, all defensive player. JaVale. JaVale, was he a defensive player? No, but he's a good defender. No, but I'm, my point is that... The and, a, and Avery Bradley, but he's not playing. Now. And Avery Bradley. Avery Bradley. Rondo, I'm pretty sure, made yeah, a defensive Rondo's, team. Rondo's a great defender. Like, these are all players who have made defensive teams before. Yeah. KCP is a good defender. He's not a bad Well, I'm, I'm talking about players who have made the defensive yeah. team before. Uh, so they can, in in life or death situations, they can turn it up to those all defensive times, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they might be older, but they still have the gas left in the tank. Uh, so... Who knows? The Lakers might be the most offensive team that we have left. Even they have the most size. No, no, the Nuggets have the most size. Honestly, well, like, height maybe, I, but I, I, I don't know. Danny Green, his uniform is tight, bro. You ever seen that? He's really swole. Yeah, I know <laughs> that kid is swole. <laughs> he is, yeah, he's always uh, been. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Javale McGee and and uh, and uh, Dwight Howard were jumping through hoops so happy when they yeah. saw the Nuggets beat the Rockets because that means they're allowed to play. Mm-hmm. For real. Uh, they're probably so happy about I mean, that. And both of nice them have been playing really good minutes. I think that JaVale McGee usually gets to start, but uh, Anthony Davis is probably going to get... Sorry, not Anthony Davis. Uh, Dwight Howard is probably going to get to start tonight after how great he played on this game. Uh, it's only four for five shots, 13 points, and only uh, three rebounds. But on the court, he made a big difference. He did get in a lot of those Denver Nuggets heads. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, he was pretty good. Looks like we got thirty seven points and ten rebounds out of A D and only fifteen points out of LeBron but twelve assists. And it looks like this was just them having fun out there and I guess yeah. It looks like it might be a sweep. I don't know. At, at this point I can't cut oh. I can't cut out the Denver Nuggets, you Gentleman know. Gentlemen sweep. 
You think the Denver Shaka Nuggets can pull one out? Yeah, I don't know. I think they Maybe might be one out. But I think they might be focused enough to get the sweep across. But again, I, I can't so too, keep but... counting out the Nuggets. Yeah. yeah, but it's LeBron James. Like I thought, it's they the had King. zero chance to come up against the Rockets, bro. To win three games in a row, Clippers. Yeah, yeah, Clippers. Yeah, who would they be in the first round? Oh, the Utah Jazz. Damn, Mer- if the Nuggets did it get the cl- against the Clippers, I'm pretty sure they could do it against the Lakers. Mm-mm. No, mm. bro. So I'm saying you no. can't cut them out. Yeah, you can't cut them out. Mm. The, La- no. the Clippers were the deepest team in the playoffs. The Lakers and they did it. The Lakers are better. The Lakers why. are always better mm. than the Clippers. I'm trying like to tell in you. History? Yes. So to, well, well, in history and this LeBron, season, I'm saying he won't even. LeBron know. would not even They're allow just, that to happen. Like I didn't think Kawhi. I thought Kawhi was about to take yeah, 40 I shots. Think Kawhi would seven. allow that to happen I either. So. Yeah, it but and it happened, but. But it's different. Yeah, it's just different. different. Like we're talking about LeBron James. We're talking about LeBron teamed up with Anthony Anthony Davis, Davis. who's top three in the league. Yeah, Clippers did not have that. They just had depth, and they had to rely on these lower Mm. level players, which will not show up like LeBron and Davis will. No. Yes. What do you mean? No. You're gonna tell me the Clippers weren't deeper than the Lakers? No, they they were. were. They were deeper. They had to rely on these lower level players. A lot of, a lot of like Lou Will's, Patrick Beverly's. Morris, all those players had to LeBron, ball for them to win. LeBron is LeBron depending, and Davis just have to go off and they're gonna win. Oh, LeBron, I want to hear what you had to LeBron say. LeBron is depending on Kentavious Caldwell Pulp. Barely. He's a he good is. player. Barely. He's shooting he's, he's all a good he's player. doing is shooting threes. That's all he has to do. He's a good player. He can shoot. If I give you <laughs> There's so many analogies I can go with. Go. But I was gonna say something along the lines of go. If someone had a gun to your mother. How many players are you oh picking God. before Contavious Caldwell Pope oh to make a three pointer? How many? It's probably pick gonna a pick, lot, but pick a that's pick, not fair. You'd pick yeah, probably close fair. to fifty players before you pick right, Contavious right. Caldwell Pope. Come Boy. playoff time, when you have that amount of superstar power on the team, LeBron know, and that's Davis. That's what the Clippers were supposed to be. They had this. No, they, they had didn't. two six men of the year. No, but that's the thing. Two six men of the year. We have two MVP candidates. So did they? Wait, wait. But think no, about it. Think about no. it. Think about it. Think about it. It's not all about what. It's, all, it's not all about having a bunch of superstars on one team. If you have a team with like at least two or three superstars, and you have like a bunch of role players that can match well together on on one right. team, that's all that matters. Like you yeah. can have all type of six men and all well, type. When of, it's LeBron and Anthony Davis, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter who else is there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, yeah. You just need shooters, yeah. shooters, and people who can. Okay, but if they have the f- get a all right, so if they have the best two players in that in that series, number one, number two, Anthony Davis and LeBron, mm-hmm. and the next team has the next six best players, you're still gonna pick those two top yes. ones. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, when it's LeBron who's the best in the NBA and Davis who's probably second or third in the NBA. I yeah, it's looking to tougher. Second, I have to it's Lakers. I have to. He's arguably second or third or fourth. Maybe. Arguably, you can no, arguably he, top five. Yeah, yeah. I, was just about to say I don't that. know about top two. You the can Lakers argue definitely it. have the best two players yeah, in, the in the playoffs right now. Yeah, in the playoffs right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They the did. Clippers, yeah. the Clippers, they were deep, but they didn't. They didn't know how to match well together. They couldn't. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel like if you're a Laker right now, you're probably feeling pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Probably you yeah. know, sizing your ring finger right now. Right. Sleeping well at night. Yeah, they're probably like, hmm, don't want to wear it on this finger. I don't want to wear it on this finger. I don't think Clippers ever been to the conference finals, no? No. No, Never. they're 50, 50 years. years. Never. That's Never. crazy. 50 years, though. 50 years. That's 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 like I said, it's cursed. Yeah, they're cursed. Like I said, they're up 31. That's crazy. Looking like yeah. OKC out here. <laughs> Looking like OKC, yeah, man. Even OKC's been to the finals, though. Yeah, even OKC's been. That's crazy. To the finals, yeah. <laughs> that sucks, man. I think, yeah. yeah, the fifty years is the longest drought. I think the next one in, in basketball, because it was like it was like a graph with all five major sports. Next one, I think, is the Gru- not the Grizzlies. The uh, who was it? Was it the Grizzlies? Are you stupid. Learn your history. No, I think it was the Kings. Was it the Kings? <laughs> no, I think it was the Grizzlies. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember who it was. Probably the Grizzlies. Probably is a good. No, nah, the Grizzlies, they've been around since. 85. No, nah, 95. 95? Sure? Yeah. Since they moved from Vancouver. Vancouver yeah, yeah, it was two. It was Raptors and Grizzlies. They both got. Um, Added in. They both went inside the Expansion. NBA. Expansion. Expansion, yeah. Expansion. In 95, so yeah. Well, anybody else have anything else to talk about? Uh, oh. My last thing. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> My last thing, I know Boston, hopefully Boston could tie it up this series. Not going to happen. We're going I think, up 3-1. I think, there's a sh- I think there's a strong possibility. I think and, so, too. And for as far as, like, Lakers versus Nuggets, I think the Lakers are going to they're gonna close out the Nuggets. Oh, yeah. So Yeah, Easily. the Nuggets still have a lot of years left. They're too young. Yeah. They'll be back next year. It's LeBron. Or the year after that. Maybe the year after that. <laughs> then it's their time. Hopefully they still have MPJ by then. <laughs> They're young as fuck. They're gonna be around for a while. They yeah. might trade a couple players though. They might get rid of a couple. I but they might get. Imagine Bradley Beal on there. What Denver? Oh yes, sir. That would be crazy. Mm-hmm. He needs That'd to go to insane. the Bucks, man. Oof. I'm calling it. Why? It's like how? a good. It's like a good fit for him. Sure, Think but about. how? How is that even possible? <laughs> You never know, man. He no, might. I know. <laughs> like I know he... there's definitely a way better, pay, way better trade packages out there than there Eric Bledsoe and Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just throwing out. It's pretty some cool questions. how both best defensive player, defensive teams are facing each other in the Eastern Conference, and mm-hmm. both best offensive teams are facing each other. Defense in the wins championships. Mm-hmm. You think Facts. the Lakers is one of the better offensive player yeah. teams? Definitely. Yeah. More than Denver Houston? And, and, and more than Houston? Probably not more than Houston. Yeah, not, not more. Are better than Boston and the Heat. Wait, as far as like being like on being offense like, and defense. Offense and defense? Yeah. Uh, I guess we're turning it up on defense, bro. Yeah. yeah. How, the Heat were going to be hot with some of the passes we were taking. I don't know. We got too comfortable. <laughs> but it just felt like lazy defense and bad. And we just weren't hitting shots. But we made half of those shots. We could have stole this game too. Kendrick Nunn has made his shots. Oh, Kendrick Nunn, bro. Kendrick Nunn went up for an, a stupid. Oh, yo, I saw that at work. Oh, my God. Why would he foul. try to block Jason Tatum and yeah, then follow him? Oh, J- my God. Kendrick Nunn really thought he was 6'9 for a second. <laughs> he went up he to, was so far away. He went up to glass Jason Jason Tatum's dunk. <laughs> no sense. Went up to glass it and then hit him in the middle of the air for an and one that was on so a dumb. breakaway was, dunk. Like, yeah. it was like, what are you doing? And he didn't play a minute after that. It's a rookie mistake. Yeah, Spell was like, yeah, you know where to go. Get on the bench. Like, He's you're young. not... He doesn't know. That was such a dumbest, and I'm sure he feels it today. And I hope you do. Uh, uh, Hero, <laughs> Hero trying to make a play too on uh, Jason Tatum. He and Tatum ducked on him. No, but oh, oh Tyler, I, yeah, I but know. Tyler got out the way. Yeah, that yeah, was. He, a bad he was like, "We're both in the middle of the air. He's gonna dunk the ball. Let me just hop on." That the was crazy. That was nasty. That was crazy. That was nasty. Yeah, that was nasty. Oh, yeah. That was yeah, he nasty. bodied Jake Carter out of bounds and then went up with Tyler and didn't even care about him. Yeah. He needs to do that more. He needs to be more aggressive. Yeah. He does that. Celtics and seven. Celtics and seven. Oh, you go with the Celtics? You're going for the well, Celtics? My now? original guess was Celtics and seven. I said it would go to seven and then I think Tatum's Come gonna on, pull guys. it out. Wow. But I want the Heat to win. I don't like you guys the live in Miami. Wow. We're being unbiased. What is wrong with you? Yeah. I want the I'm Heat, not a heat to win. F- I'm not a Heat fan though. The only thing I like from the Heat is Dwayne Wade. And that's it. Dwayne Wade's my favorite player. Not even Eric Spolstra. He's a good not, coach. Not even our heat culture. That's not what I asked. He's a good coach. That's not what like, I asked. Is he not even the girls in Miami. I like those. I like, <laughs> I like those. I like those. <laughs> All right. On that note, we can, we can sign off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Looks like it's a little bit of a shorter pod, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, not that many games happen. Not that much to talk about. Pretty quiet weekend. Just a couple games and a sad heat day yesterday. <laughs> uh, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Leave us a comment. Oh, shout out to that one dude. Ah, I forgot your name. I wish I had it. Cool, Someone cool. on their last video just commented um, something like, good work, you guys. Are you going to go check it? <laughs> it was something like, good work, you guys. Uh, you guys will be big one day. Like, Keep going. Something like that. Aww. That's what's up. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Super cool. And I thought I was like, oh, maybe there's someone I know, but they're, they had German videos on their channel. They're yeah. like German basketball videos. And I was like, aw, thanks. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skyhook. Skyhook. Skyhook Shout is. out Skyhook. Good luck, guys, on the path to greatness. Just keep going. Thanks, bro. Yeah, that's my thank you, Mr. Uh, Skyhook. Awesome. Mr. Skyhook. I, felt, I felt so good inside after I saw that. Skyhook right. is unguardable. All right, but thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to uh, follow us at the bench cast, the bench underscore cast on Instagram and Twitter. And tune in on to what monday no tomorrow's monday <laughs> wednesday. Thursday, oh, thursday thursday we record on wednesdays oh, but we yeah, post yeah, on yeah. thursdays yeah, sorry oops thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> peace we out